Okay, Isaac, um, today is your first day of your bar repair training. We're going on the road now. And this is going to be a big journey for you. Um, guys like yourself um, are coming here to do bar repair training, but it's not just about bar repair training. This is about learning the whole thing how to run a bar repair business. Yeah. It's to basically you becoming a boiler entrepreneur. Okay. So I know people out there might think, what's a boiler entrepreneur? Well, a boiler entrepreneur is someone who's got the, the all round um, skills of people skills, business skills, boiler repair skills, know how to interact with people, you know, and make things go their way. Mm. Make, so if you want to get Google reviews, you, you're confident you know how to get Google reviews. Yeah. You know how to diagnose jobs. Yeah. You've got everything flowing, people like you, you mm -hmm. connect with people. Yeah. That's the type of person. And this course is about, so it's not about just bar repairs. It's, a, it's like, as I said, the creation of the masterful engineer. Yeah. So it's a bit different. It's a all-round package. Okay. So what do you think? Well, um, like you said, um, it's not all about boiler repair. It's mainly about being an entrepreneur in the business, which covers every aspect of it. Diagnose, diagnosing um, problems, boiler problems, your organizational skills, your communication skills, your getting feedback. So it's, it's all about that. But the thing is, um, what I feel is people don't tend to flow when it comes to being an entrepreneur. They will tend to like prefer to be called um, a boiler repairer or a boiler, you understand, rather than being an entrepreneur because of all the things that comes with it. So the program really would be nice if which I, th I think is nice based on the fact that at the end of it all whether you come in as a boiler repairer you will still be an entrepreneur and you get the skills you get trained for the skills you and all the necessary things that is, is needed so i think the program is a nice one excellent thanks yeah definitely um as i, I think i might have said before but i'll say it again um we're going to be creating a new website um, okay. This website is going to be called Boiler Repair Training. Yeah. And um, it's going to be about two things. It's going to be about me, um, the coach Tony Morgan. Okay. And how the coach Tony Morgan came about. How I became this person. And they're going to tell a story from me starting out in this game from the age of 16 mm. when I was apprentice. Yeah. Right to the present day. Going through it all problems, the trials and tribulations, the trial and errors, all the rejections, all the losses of money, yeah. people just, you know, taking a piss, bloody people joking about me, laughing at me, yeah. thinking my ideas were you know, rubbish, and, mm -hmm. and you know, sometimes I felt like giving up, I was demoralised, it was terrible, I thought, oh no, nah, this is going to work, and just... Sometimes I left it for about two, three months and just do thought, nothing. Done nothing. I thought, mm -hmm. nah, ain't gonna happen. Not in my lifetime. Uh, so it was really, you know, challenging times. Yeah. And this is what I want to try and get across in this story to people that this body repair training, what I've created, this program, what I've, uh, you know, it took. I've been doing this for about 13, 14 years. Yeah. In think, but I had this sort of realization of this is what the industry needs. Yeah. I looked at engineers and I said, these guys have got no, they've got no business sense. They're just like bulls in a china shop, just mm. going in there with ignorant ways, smashing the shop up and wondering why the customers don't like them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I understand that area. So I thought, God, I can't believe these guys run businesses like this. I thought, wow, it's just amazing. But it was like a widespread thing. I've seen it everywhere. Mm. So I knew, 
I thought there's some opportunity out there but I've got to create something what these guys can see yeah and that was obviously been a, the biggest challenge to put something like this together of trying to convince people that this is what they need but mm. because they're setting the ways they think they don't need to learn anything don't want to learn anything okay. they don't want to know so it's see you mate I'm not interested bye yeah piss off I don't need you guys like you we've been doing this for 10 15 years what I want if you like you for piss off from me so that was that was a situation but as I said the new um Ball repair website, training website, yeah. is gonna have new videos, how-to videos, gonna be structured differently. Um, I've had a lot of feedback from different um, candidates and guys who, you know, subscribe to the Massful Engineer Program website. Okay. Now, the Massful Engineer Program website is really gonna be focused on the mindset business training mm. because that's the foundation of having the right way of thinking, the right belief systems, the right, just how you go about organizing your life. Yourself, yeah. And yourself, yeah. Because that's a platform what we want to work from. Okay. And then the, the new website, as I said, the Bar Repair Training website, is going to be one, telling the story about myself. Yeah. And two, having this new style of website with the easy to navigate, find the information when you want okay. easily because this is what's been requested <laughs> by other people. And like you do your first version of whatever you do, you, you do it and it's not always right. So you get feedback from people. And just like an iPhone, was the iPhone 1? Yeah. It's now iPhone 10. Mm -hmm. It's gone. It's advanced. It's, it's advanced. It's innovated. It's evolution. And that's the same thing what we're going to do is yeah. evolution of starting from this it's going to grow get more people involved um, people already want to get involved they like what they see they like okay. what they um, you know what they're reading you said something about what you were talking to some other people you spoke to about some friends about okay yeah what you sort of sick glean from Mm. What we're doing? What was that? Yeah, what I was saying was the other time was like um, um, the system that you have, this masterful engineering program, taking guys on and showing them how to get things done, proven, proven, um, proven way of getting things done, and, and achieving and making progress. Mm. And like the few people I've saw that I'll be coming on board to join your system, they've been like, wow, that's um. The, the brain behind this is is a, is a very good one in the sense that um, it's a system that will give you proven proven records of how to get um, boiler repairs, how to do installation, and how to do everything pertaining to the to the gas industry, as in the gas works. Then at the same time, it talks about um, your organizing your your little entrepreneur um, business, whereby. The mistakes that um, you've made won't be making it. We'll just like overcome those mistakes and we can get on track as quickly as possible. Then again, it also covers the level of experience whereby we coming in as newbies can gain experience in a very short time compared to other engineers out there that have been working 10, 5 years and the experience we'll be getting from you. Will be, will be quicker and faster. So at the end of it all, it's a good one. Couple of couple with the fact that the gas industry, as in the gas engineering um, system, is in a way that no matter how you go about it, whether you're employed or not, you will still come back to be self-employed. So at the end of it all, it's all about you being an entrepreneur. That's what I was trying to put clear to you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, you're going to have like an accelerated program of um, development real quick. Yeah. In a year from now, you're just starting now, in another year from now, you will be probably in the realms of someone who's been in business for four or five years mm. within one year. Yeah. 
or what you're going to achieve. Your, the way your business is going to grow and be shown or be seen to the end user, they're going to look at you from the outside and think, wow, this is a big mm. company. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to call these people. Yeah. I like what they, I like the reviews, I like the image, I like the structure, I like mm. the way the phone's been answered. Yeah, I'm really impressed. And mm -hmm. you're going to, they'll never know the difference. Yeah. Of, And this is what um, it's all about. It's like Gillum's um, in Birmingham. Yeah. His, his business is not even six months old. Yeah. But yet he's at the top of um, Checker Trade. He's at the number one spot. Mm. Guy's been there five, ten years, and he's number, number one within one. six months mm -hmm. of launch. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. I can't, when I sort of thought of this idea and the things I was going to do, mm. everything was a prediction. Yeah. When you look at the, um, you know, the webinars, what we've done, yeah, they were from last year, mm -hmm. and you can see that I was talking in a futuristic sense. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. This is how it's going to be mm -hmm. in the future. And I didn't imagine that it would take off so fast for him. I didn't think he'd do so well. Mm. But he's applied everything to the letter, mm -hmm. what he's been taught, what he's learned. Yeah. And he's getting now the payback of the investment of this is what we do, we invest. Yeah, investing in time and everything. Yep. And that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna um sign off for a bit because I'm gonna get some fuel now. Okay. Alright then. Um in the bar repair train, what we talk about. As I said, part of it is the bar repair train, but a lot of it is about the business itself because ultimately you're going to be running your own business and you're going to run your own business in the same fashion of what you're seeing it unfolding from your eyes because it's a replication of a business what works, it's a business model mm -hmm. like a franchise, a replication but you're not actually paying the amount of money what it takes to buy a franchise, but you're going to get all the benefits of a franchise. Mm. So, you coming out with me like now, you've seen everything unfold live in front of you. There's no setup. You've seen everything happen. So when it goes wrong, you know what to do. How to, how I dealt with it when it went wrong. Yeah. What did I do? What are mm -hmm. the steps I took? So you're observing mm. like an apprentice. Yeah seen exactly how Tony deals with it. Oh that's how I've got to deal with it. Yeah. So that's what you do. this is all part of the training. The other thing what we do, um, I've put it in the webinars with you. Any guy who signs up to the Master Engineer program and goes through the webinars, you'll see one thing what I've said and you're gonna see it unfold right now. Is you don't see me writing anything down from customers. Everything's like a one way thing. The information comes through to us, comes through to me, and then I ring the customer back from one click on my phone. The information's been took already by the call centre. Yeah. The information. So my job's just coming now. I just got a text. I'm going to ring them now. And um, it's a landlord, and I got to speak to the tenant. And so I'm going to speak to the tenant and um, see what's happening. Okay. So, Person a ring. Oh, let's see what they're saying. Follow the person you're calling. Oh. Yeah. Is on another line. Just leave your message after the tone. And when you're done, press hash or just hang up. I'm not going to leave a message because. What I do now, I just send them a text and it's pre scripted, so. Um, I'm and it's pre scripted, so. Um, they'll just text me back. So, as I say, everything is um, taken care of. I don't have to write. People's addresses down, phone yeah. numbers down, it's all done for me. So, when we get to this next job, we're going to this job actually. Um, this customer 
they've been about 20 years of customer now, 20 years. 20 good years. Mm. Wow. This guy, called Peter Jackson, and um, he was one of my first customers, and that's what I'll tell you when you see him. <laughs> that's what he's going to say. Yeah. And to have someone for 20 years, you know, you've got to do something mm, right, right to keep someone mm -hmm. all them years. Now, what we've done with this customer, he's been a contract customer for all that time, and uh, he's had a new boiler, the old boiler's, you know, popped up, run it, yeah, popped up the clogs, and we've put a new boiler for him, and he's still a customer, and that's the beauty of this business model, of what it can give to guys like yourself, mm. you can build a long business, a strong business, based on what we've done what we've developed over the years. Okay. I'm going to try and give out other, um, I've got another job what's coming, I'm going to try and give them a ring. Customer, uh, it's a contract customer. So I'm just going to give her a ring, see what she wants. Hello. Hi, it's um, Tony from A&R again, your boiler. You alright? Hi. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, Would you okay. be able to come over sometime today? I will, no problem. So, okay. what, what's the issue you've got? No hot water. No hot water. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. I should say probably within a couple hours I'll be there. Brilliant. Okay. All right. All right. So, well, if I'm not there, my husband's going to be there anyway. But oh, I should be there. Okay, no problem. Okay, then I'll call him and let him know. All right then. All right. Thanks a lot. See you later. Bye. 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 So that interaction with a customer yeah. was pleasant. Um, this is the type of interaction what we have with our customers okay they're always you know pleasant because i think you said something yesterday about um how you sort of gleam it why customers you've, you've heard a few customers speaking yeah. out to me yeah and so what was your interpretation of you said something yesterday yeah what i've observed is most of the um, customers we went to yesterday practically all of them they were they were relaxed and they were composed, you know, and they were very friendly. And I think the major reason why they behave the way they behave is based on the fact that the call center that you have has you know made them rest assured that whatever problem they bring will be will be, will be, will be rectified. You know, in the sense that um, you have a call center that can easily pick phone phone calls up. Um, ask customers for the problem and um, book them directly for the jobs to be carried out. It's, it's a good thing. It gives customers that peace of mind when they call. So when they've seen that big, broad image and the engineers now call, they know that it's like um, a company as big as um, British Gas or Eon yeah. calling. So that's that's what I say. The call, um, the call center is a very, very, very good thing. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely, you're right. Yeah, the image, what it portrays, the website when they ring, you know, when it, say from the first instance, the Googles, and then they see the website, mm. it's professional, mm -hmm. then they got the phone number, they ring through, then again, it matches what they've seen in the first place, yeah. then the visual matches then the, um, the sort of voice and everything else yeah. it's imagination have got yeah. all ties in mm -hmm. and then that and i follow up with that phone call yeah so it's one two three wow 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 mm -hmm. yeah yeah so they just that's it yeah. you've got that rich gas feeling mm -hmm. corporate feeling yeah that's a yeah that big image that big image all in the same place so when it comes to do the job 50 percent of it's took care of already yeah you just got to do your bit mm -hmm with the master engineer program and the everything else what you pick up while you're doing the training yeah. and the, the sort of little things what you see 
when you go and do it, you're getting the same. You're getting the same energy. You're getting yeah. the same feedback. You're yeah. The same sensation. Mm. The same result. People don't quibble with you, with the money because of all these things. What you just said. Yeah. yeah. And, and again, you say there's um, compared to other entrepreneurs, self-employed engineers out there that they are on a job. The customer calls. They can't pick the call. Or they could pick the call and they'll be, you know, I can't hear you, I can't hear you. So all those is out of it, you know, you're just focused on the job, not talking to the customer. So it's, it's, a, it's a good system in that way because you're just concentrating on getting the problem solved rather than, you know, you thinking of picking a phone call or checking emails to reply back to customers. You don't deal with that. The call center deals with that. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. You're right, because the, a guy on the job, he's not got the right frame of mind. Mm -hmm. If to say the job's going wrong and he's got a leak and this, that, and the other, yeah. the last thing he wants is a, call. is a phone call from the customer. <laughs> the last thing he wants is a phone call. Oh my God, shit, I got a leak. Bloody hell, the customer's ringing, pain in the ass. But yet, that customer's bringing business to them. Yeah. But it... But at that moment, it's like, I don't want his call mm -hmm. now. I yeah. don't want his call. So well, that call could be like £3,000 worth of business. Yes, and he won't pick the call. That's it. So, so in this business model, we're like, you're in a position where you're the striker. Mm -hmm. And all you want to do is score goals. Yeah. And all you want is a goal, the ball fed to you mm -hmm. from the midfield, yeah. from the defence. Yeah. And you're in attack. Mm -hmm. Get that goal. That's it. Goal, goal, goal. That's mm -hmm. you just want to stay there. That's it. And everything else is being taken care of for you, for you, mm -hmm. by the call centre, by the infrastructure, the back office. You have reached your destination. And it, this is what makes that's what makes a game easy. Mm. It make that's what's about scoring, winning a game. Yeah. I like that analogy. Scoring and winning the game. Yeah. Yes. No, like that's, yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's it. That's what, that's what we call a team. Yeah. It's that's like what, it's like the win-win, the win-win situation. Yeah. That's whereby what we, call a team, we yeah. just have to win every day. Yeah. Absolutely. We've got a bit of situation here. We're gonna have to do a funny turn or reverse because it's gonna be difficult to turn around in this one. But anyway, this is live. This we're going to a job now, and um, we might speak to you later, okay. or we might even. Um, in fact, I think this guy is so cool, this customer. I think he'll, he'll want to get on the program. We could, you're going to have a, going to see this guy, Mr. Jackson. Okay. Right, we're um, inside Mr. Jackson's house and um, we're going to be looking at his boiler and he's actually here with us. And um, if you just say, how long have you been a customer? Just like he's basically like Isaac wants to, he's doing his training and he's sort of like modeling himself of what I do. So it's good for him to hear a customer of yourself that we're doing a good service for you. Because he wants to have a customer like longevity. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. So customers that's for like 25 years to come. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what do you think, Mr. Basically, it's up to you about what you well, think no, of I'm A and I. a few words that we've been with the company. Uh, for at least 19 years, <clears throat> when he first started, I think, excellent five-star service. Mm -hmm. We've not left and moved to anybody else. He's always on time, sometimes early. Sometimes does, late. <laughs> occasionally, occasionally late. Occasionally late. He does a service once a year. Uh, this, this is the second boiler we've had with him. Excellent again. We've had this one for two years. No problem with it. If we need anything and we have a problem, we phone him and he's out the following day. Very rarely that he has to wait more than a day before he visits. Mm. So we can just highly recommend uh, the company. And really, that's all I've got to say. Yeah. Thanks, that's it. That's wonderful. Is that all right, was it? Yeah. So that's basically, for Isaac and people like Isaac, this is what they want to hear because they want to have that same... Goal. That's what they want. Customer I can understand that. I, I, yeah, I can't recommend it. Yeah, yeah. Highly enough. Okay. All right. Cool. That's it. So I got fifty percent knocked off the job now. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, so we just left uh, Mr. Jackson's house. Which uh, was a nice man. Mm -hmm. and as he said, he, you know, he's been with us about 19 years. So, as I said, proving the point that the system works. Yep. People like what we do because they've stayed with us all that time. So, that's a great thing. The other thing, what we're doing with our customers, um, this is a, a great bit of ingenuity um, to help our gas portfolio um, training program. Okay. We've introduced this system called a customer income scheme. Okay. What I just said to the customer there, they've got free gas appliances. Okay. And what we'll do, we'll pay them so yeah, we can carry out our gas portfolio training. After 200 yards. So we've got quite a few of these customers now, which yeah. what we do, we hand pick them the ones what's got the right amount of appliances. So they've okay. got the gas buyers for the gas portfolio. Yeah. Because obviously gas buyers are difficult to come by. So because we've got a, a big customer base, I can hand pick the ones which are suitable. Yeah. These people they're always at home mm -hmm. so they're available. Yeah. And then we pay them per visit. Okay. So it helps the, the amount of jobs what we need to give to the gas portfolio yeah. guys so okay. they can then complete their gas portfolios. So I think that's a great idea of introducing this system for customers. They're gonna get an income stream it's going to help the gas portfolio people. Yeah. Obviously, A and R is going to get the income stream, so it's all a win-win. Yeah. To get the job done for people and for our customers, it's a great thing because what company is going to pay them mm -hmm. to come no, for, no. for us to visit mm -hmm. their house? It's normal. They're paying us for the visit. Yeah. Now we're doing it the other way around. Mm. What do you think of that? Well, um, it's all right as, as long as um, the customers agree and um, the guys that are doing the portfolio, they are getting their portfolio done quick and fast. And um, you, the system itself is um, sticking on, showing us and um, proving to us more that the system is working. So I think it's a great idea. Okay, cool. So we're going on to our next job. Um, again, we're going to another long-standing customer. Okay. This one, at least 10 years old. Mm. Yeah. Uh, again, just a testament to the system and the way I've run the business. Yeah. That you guys coming to be um, get involved with the engineer team network, learn this system. You're going to have the confidence that you're going to hit the ground running, knowing you've got this elite class type of knowledge mm. because as I said earlier this is why you're going to be a boiler, a boiler entrepreneur because you've got a business what works and you're making money you can have multiple income streams now here's another thing for you in what we're doing yeah say like yourself now as I said a year from now yeah. You're going to be in a position that you will be able to train someone else yourself. Okay. And now, how this system works is that we have a business cycle. And the business cycle is your, obviously your off peak and your on peak. Mm. We're going to be coming to the on peak season because it's going to be winter soon. Okay. So we're going to have lots of jobs coming in. Okay. Now, you as an individual working on your own. In the summertime, you, can, you know, you can manage, things will be okay. When it comes to winter, with our marketing strategies, what we've got, you can have loads of jobs coming in. In fact, you won't be able to handle the amount of jobs coming in. They'll be too much for you. That mm. means you're going to be losing money. Yeah. Now, in our system, what we've got. Take the exit and 60. If you imagine yourself, you're going to go through the same program. You're now coming to just, well, coming out with summer into the autumn in the next month or so, yeah? Yeah. Then you're going to do your employment program for four months. Yeah? Yeah. In that time, you're going to be learning 
developing doing jobs, yeah? And you're doing it in the winter time mm. because I won't be able to cope with the amount of jobs. Okay. I will be losing money. Yeah. So part about you're gonna help me make money. Okay. By doing the jobs. But I'll, at the same time it's giving you the training, the confidence, what you need. Yeah. Then the year after, when you go on your own, you're yeah. on your own now. Yeah. And you're gonna be facing the same situation. Okay. Where the winter after you won't be able to cope with the jobs coming in. Mm. And you'll need help. Okay. But you will have someone like you mm. doing the same replication of what you're doing. Right, okay. So you train him, mm -hmm. he helps you with your jobs. Yeah. You then make more money. Yeah. Because you're gonna lose that business. Yeah. And that's how it works. Mm. So you've got a tr you're gonna have then a continuous influx of engineers coming in, which you can train. Yeah. You can probably train two of them. Yeah. The year after that, because you're gonna be better. So that means then you can do more business, get more profits, mm. and then when the um, winter time's finished and you go into the summer time. Them trainees, then they're going to go off their on their own yeah. into the own area mm -hmm. and open up their own businesses. Yeah. Then for you, you haven't got that overhead. Mm -hmm. So it works for you. You're going to get labouring yeah. when you need it most. Yeah. And when the busy time's over, they move on. They move on. Yeah. What do you think of that system? It's a perfect one, it's a perfect one. Because um, you're just like cloning another engineer to do what you have what you want to do, to do what you do in the in the busy months so that the person can uh, take care of some of your jobs that you can you, because you can't split yourself into two. You can't be everywhere at the same time. So like after the winter period and they go, they move on, you 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 you're not paying money out you understand because your overhead is minimal yeah like you rightly said so i think the system is, is okay and it's at the end of the day it's it's not only about you it's about them also because it's not going to be a network that's right of, of mindset engineers that have the same mindset in the same direction so that's what it's going to be exactly it's a win-win yeah as i said the system which i've developed is based on a win-win. Mm. It's not based on like most corporations. It's the man at the top who gets all the cream, mm -hmm. and the guys at the bottom get nothing. Nothing. Eh? It, with this, it's all shared out. The spoils are shared out. Mm -hmm. The profits are shared out. So, what the experience? What you're going to go through yourself? Mm. You will then do the same, and you will experience exactly the same. Same thing. The same thing. Same with the next man, and so on and so on. Mm -hmm. So, your business, you're going to make most of your money in the winter time. Mm. So, you could maybe train two, three people. And again, in the busy, in the, in the off peak period. Yeah, leading up. It's like now, mm -hmm. I've got four people yeah. coming for, for winter time, yeah? Okay. So, I have a, hopefully I have a good winter. Everyone gets trained. The company makes money. Mm -hmm. And it's going to make more money because I can't do it on my own. Yeah. So I've got the manpower to do it. Mm -hmm. Then they go into the local areas after Listen. the term. Yeah. Then my overhead's gone. Yeah. I can manage them. Yeah. What made me money yeah. when it counts in the peak in season. The peak season. And then we just replicate it. Yeah. You replicate it. Mm -hmm. The next man replicates it. Mm -hmm. Because we'll have a constant feed of engineers coming in. Mm -hmm. And the more we get known for what we do, the more people Better. will be attracted to mm -hmm. what we come in mm -hmm. and join us. Yeah. So I, I can't think of a better system. It's a business model. Like this. like this one, yeah. There's nothing out there. Yeah. Nothing whatsoever. And that's why I'm really excited about the engineer team network. 
as I said, it's not a bar repair training. No. This is a pilot mm. entrepreneur. Mm. Can you see now? Yeah. It's a fantastic way of doing business. It's very, it's a very clear. It's like a very clear vision. If you can see what you're aiming at, it's a very clear vision. And that was why I was telling you the other day, yesterday, that um, it's not all about the person now. It's all about the network of right-minded engineers because the, at the end of it all you will just find out that you have a web of engineers that are thinking like you are because you've given them the model and they follow it to the latter then we are able to compete with bigger companies exactly big companies. exactly because when we grow then there's other opportunities mm -hmm. like you said contracts and stuff yeah because we've got the manpower, the skills, mm -hmm. the know-how, the mindset, mm -hmm. how to deal with customers. Yeah. And customers will see the difference. So yeah, for you guys out there, that's what's uh, the vision of what this is all about. Okay, so we just finished this job. Um, the job was, we uh, basically done the boiler, which um, was dangerous. Um, other people who work on it and damaged it and it couldn't be operated on anymore so we blanked off. Now, the great opportunity has happened because we now got more business, we're going to change the boiler. But, because we, because of this model what we've got, we deal with not just gas, we also deal with le electric. So we've got electric boilers, electric business to deal with. And we're going to have to put a new electric combi because of the fluid issues and um, the logistics to do the flu and everything. The best option is to put electric in. And in the team, I've got a guy who can do electric combis, fit them. He's an electrician, he does gas, he does commercial. So in our teams out there, we're going to build teams, we're going to connect with other people find them who can help us with our business so like for you Isaac yeah you know you're gonna discover guys <clears throat> link up with them and you're gonna find guys who are way more experienced than you yeah and they're gonna work for you mm -hmm. like this boiler now yeah we're told no price mm -hmm. he's happy with it I just need someone to fit it yeah that's all I need to do yeah I supply the stuff mm -hmm. and they fit it for me. I pay my labour yeah. and we're going to make our profit. Yeah. So, as boiler entrepreneurs in the engineer team network, yeah. this is how we make your money. Mm -hmm. We don't have to get involved in it. Yeah. We can get our guys to do the job for us, outsource it, we make our money, mm -hmm. we can carry on doing something else. Yeah. So, that's how we do it. That's how we make money in this business. Yeah. You've been a businessman, mm -hmm. not just an engineer. Yeah. Hence the name Boiler Entrepreneur. Yeah? Yeah. It does make sense. You see now the customer went along with it, he agreed with the price, he yeah. got an island, he didn't object. What did you think of the way he took it? Well the the customer took it so he took it happy. And uh, to be honest with you, the last comment he made was like um he, he, he wasn't expecting it to be that the price you gave him he wasn't expecting it to be that low he was thinking higher than that and he was happy with it because the way we approached everything the way you approach everything and he said something about your honesty that you were so transparent about it that means he must have encountered other engineers that you know that have been lying or you know they've not been they've not been open because the state of that boiler shows that not only one engineer has touched that boiler mm. or several engineers have touched that boiler that didn't actually know what they were doing Correct. so <coughs> that's why i observed exactly yeah There's our integrity shone through and that's what you picked upon yeah so it goes back to um, some of the things what we're saying about um you know the um business training mm -hmm the audio books, learning this inner game
about yourself, yeah. putting yourself across, because people read this, people see right into it mm -hmm. sub on a subconscious level. Yeah. They can see all this, and this is, makes a difference yeah. about getting business. And I said to you earlier, business isn't just about a business thing, mm -hmm. it's people things. It's yeah, people it's about people. People connectivity. Mm -hmm. So that's what it's about. So in our team, as I said, make connections with other engineers out there mm. so you can build a team of installers you can call upon to help you yeah. in your business when mm -hmm. you're ready okay to do installation jobs emergency job like this mm -hmm. you're going to repair a boiler bam it's now an installation job mm -hmm. and you need a guy you can install because you've got your other jobs to do yeah you can't just drop that and go oh get involved in this what about the other customers mm -hmm. you've got yeah. so you've got to keep moving flowing mm -hmm. and just build your team yeah. help source a job make 300 500 whatever it may be yeah on that job yeah and just build the next one move to move on yeah so that's the type of thing what as a pilot entrepreneur this is the type of thing you do okay all right good back to um the audio books what i was talking about um one of them one of the audio books is called um, The Charisma Myth and it's a must you can either read it or listen to it I'd say you can listen to it because um, you can listen to it through your Bluetooth via your phone through Audible and we've just been listening to it now you've heard a bit of it, a yeah, bit now, yeah. so from what you heard what did you think about it or what do you think or I'll give you another question what do you think about my thinking of introducing this type of in material into the Massive Engineer program. Well, um, I think your your desire, your goal, what you want to achieve, has led you to this. In the sense that you've got this great vision and this great um, desire for success. You want to succeed. And you don't want to succeed small, you want to succeed very, very big. So, um, the, the, the drive for your success, for your big success, has led you to looking for materials that could, you know, keep you in line, that could motivate you. So, as, as, as I've listened to that audio, I see a link between, um, a, a motivational link that, 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 that keeps motivating you. Because if you have a dream, if you have a um, vision, you don't just want to have the vision, you want to get at it and you want to like get motivated. So you need something that will be motivating you. So I think these materials are a kind of a motivational materials for you. Well, that's right, it is. However, it's also motivational material for yourself. Yeah. And for everyone else yeah. who joins um, on this journey, to become a pilot entrepreneur. So it's going to give you the tools to become more, become more charismatic, more influential, more persuasive, to get things to go your way, mm. to get your dream and your goals to also become to fruition. So yeah, it applies to me and it also applies to yourself and mm. anyone else. Yeah. All the full team has got the same drive. Mm -hmm. Just you said, yeah. I want to win big. You want to win big. Yeah. Do you not? Yeah, sure. I want to win big. Okay. So that's why we've got the same vision. That's why we've got the same material mm -hmm. to give that motivation, to give that drive. So we all got, we're all on the same page. The yeah. whole team. Yeah. Imagine that, the whole team rushing like that. What's that going to be like as a team? <laughs> going to be something that um, will be untouchable. Well, they all succeed together. I'm going to go back to football terms. Okay. And I never thought I would say such a thing. I'm a Manchester United fan, but I'm going to put the City as the focal point in this conversation. Manchester City are firing on all cylinders. The team Every player is firing and they're getting the goals. They're getting the goals, there's no doubt. They are an awesome team right now.
right now this is their time it's um, Man United I'm a red but they've not got it they've not got the drive they've not got the team the that spirit to score consistent goals like Manchester City and this is what we're talking about now with the edge of the team network and yeah. the drive the team's got all the same drive because they've got that fuel what we talk about of this material so Man City and giving you you know taking my heart to right now though it makes my heart sick as a red to say this yeah. <laughs> so Reds forgive me by saying what I just said. It's just an example of what we try to say yeah. about the engineer team network. <laughs> so, that's, that's interesting to hear. But yeah, but that's showing you the example of what mm -hmm. I'm trying to get across. Yeah. What do you think? You know, you've said it all. It's, we just have to. It's, it's for the whole team. It's for the whole team and. Everybody just needs to like um, be on the same page because if we're on the same page, we think alike, we walk the same way, we walk smart, then the sky is going to just be the limit. Exactly, exactly, absolutely. The sky is the limit, and that's the way I look at it. It's an unlimited potential yeah. of what we've got. That's why I talk about this liquid farm type of business model. Yeah. Unlimited potential, evolving all the time unlimited possibilities and it's going to be exciting for everyone absolutely yeah. exciting so it's all good yeah all good